guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see by the title down there, I am back with another Princess Polly haul today. So my thought process behind the haul today was to grab a bunch of jumpers and just warm things so that I can hopefully replace some of the quite manky jumpers that I have hidden in this cupboard. They are comfortable, but they probably shouldn't still be in my wardrobe after this many years. So the game plan today is to try on all of these jumpers. There is one dress and one vest, and we are going to see if they are compatible to my body. And hopefully we are going to be able to get rid of some of my older clothes to make room for these ones. Just popping in to remind you guys that I do have a discount code. If you would like to save yourself 20% off your order at Princess Polly, use Jessie 20 in the little bar when you are filling out your order and save yourself some money because who doesn't love saving a little bit of money when you are spending money to make your soul happy. So yes, thank you very much to Princess Polly for giving us that discount code. Just before I jump in and start talking about this one, I will let you guys know that every jumper that I try on today, I'm going to be wearing my Princess Polly jeans from a previous video, and I've also got the uh, crop top from the last video on as well. I'll pop some little like clips of what those look like. And I will obviously link everything in the description down below, and I'll also link in uh, the jeans and the crop top as well from my previous videos, because it is all from Princess Polly. So. Let's get into it. This is the Williamson jumper stripe in beige, I believe. No, nope. Williamson stripe jumper beige. There we go. I got this one in a large slash extra large because I do like to have that bit of extra room. And I also need to make sure that these sleeves are going to be long enough on anything that I get that has long sleeves. You guys are well aware that my requirement is they, the sleeves need to be good because if the sleeves are sitting like here, drive me nuts. I will absolutely hate it and I will never wear it. So this passes the sleeve test and it is incredibly comfortable. This is not itchy at all. I do really love how this one sits with the jeans. I've got some footage from my mirror that I will pop in, but I really love where this one sits. So I am not a massive crop top person. As you guys know, I have had like a journey with my weight and stuff this year and then I am also currently recovering from surgery so uh, the jeans with the pregnant person hack on here let's just keep that to ourselves okay my my stomach bloating is almost going down if you happen to see that the uh, zip is not 100% up and I've got that little hair tie there please don't judge me I've just I'm recovering okay <laughs> also I am not pregnant I don't know if I would quite call this jumper a cropped jumper it is shorter than most jumpers that I have nowadays. I think it's probably just like the length of a regular jumper, but these days we're either like cropped up to here or really baggy, so regular things look weird. <laughs> Does anyone else feel like that? It's probably just me, because I'm old now. This sits really nicely, especially with these jeans, and on the back it sits quite well. Hopefully my hair is covering the tag because I have forgotten to take all of those off. Cut of where it sits on my butt and the jeans looks really good I really like this one sometimes I'm not about like baggy baggy sleeves I've already talked about sleeves and we're not even past the first thing <laughs> I'm very particular with sleeves the website says that this one is a combination of acrylic nylon and polyester so it is not real wool which is why it's not itching me which is great we love that so double thumbs up oh my gosh <laughs> My ring just ripped out so much hair. Anyway, this one is the black vest that I got and I think it does look, it looks cute with this little outfit. It would also be good for like activewear when I'm on the walks with the dogs. This will be really handy for work as well because it is absolutely freezing. So layering is a great option, but I can still have access to my hands. Now, I may butcher the name of this one. I believe the first word of this one is a Spanish word and I don't speak Spanish. So let me just try. <laughs> the embarrassment of not knowing how to say a word <laughs> is so real. Anyway, this I think is called the Fuentes Puffer Vest in Black. It is pretty simple. It is a puffer vest. It is very, very thick and warm and squishy. It's got two pockets on the side here that do zip up if you want them to. And then also the vest zips up too. I only ever zip vests up when it's like freezing and windy and stuff. I prefer them kind of open just so you can see the jumper underneath. Like if I'm wearing it fashionably, it'll be open. If I'm wearing it functionally, 
it'll be like zipped all the way up here and I'll be hiding from the wind. But anyway, this is really comfortable. It is again in the large slash extra large size, which is pretty good. It feels quite snug, but it's under a big jumper right now, which is good. So that does mean that it does have that little bit of room for layering, which is what you want when you're getting like outerwear pieces, like jackets and vests and such. So I am happy with this one. This is a good find. There's really not a whole heap to say about it because it is a just basic black puffer vest, which is a staple. And I feel like I used to have about like four of these and I've culled my closet a few times in the past couple of years. And I remember getting rid of one or two, but I have just not had one for at least 10 months at this point and I don't know where they went because I thought I still had two. Clearly I didn't because I've been wanting to wear one for the past kind of month going to work. But now I've got this one, so that's great. It will come very in handy, especially with the freezing mornings that we've been having because it's a nice extra layer to add on top, but then you can easily take it off. So this is another win, 10 out of 10. We have been incredibly lucky with our Princess Polly hauls so far. There's only been maybe one item that, one, I'm not sure. Am I gaslighting myself? I don't think so. There's been a few things that I wasn't 100% sure on, but every single thing, pretty much, I have been able to alter and make it work. So that's a really good sign. <laughs> to be fair, I am incredibly picky. <laughs> so that probably helps, uh, but I have really lucked out. I haven't had anything that's been a complete fail from them, which is fantastic. So. Thanks, Princess Polly. Let's move on to next. All right, this one is the Minford sweater in green. This is the one that is a little bit more kind of see-through. It reminds me of my mum. I think she's got some kind of, uh, I don't know if it's green or not, but she's got a jumper with this kind of pattern, like the coloured, the colouring, how it's like fading in and out, a different colour, whatever. I'm not a fashion person, but it reminds me of my mum because she has a jumper with a similar kind of colour scheme to this. I think. <laughs> I think this one it could do with like a little bit of like tucking or judging or something, but it is really nice. I love the neckline on here. It is very, very flattering on my body. The sleeves pass the test as well. They are nice and long, which is great. The back is very cute. It just kind of sits nicely as a jumper does. So I've just had a little bit of a fiddle around and kind of tucked it in a bit at the top, which I think looks really cute with the jeans. The back kind of just slouches down a bit still, which is nice and comfortable and kind of relaxed, casual kind of vibes. I think this one would also look really cute with a short black skirt, but that could also just be showing the 90s kid in me because what I'm imagining probably isn't in uh, fashion anymore, but cute and cozy, so. Who really cares? <laughs> this one is slightly itchy on my skin. It says that it is 100% acrylic on the website. It's not quite bad enough that I would have to wear something under this all the time. Uh, it's just like almost, almost itchy. <laughs> Which if you are someone that does not struggle with sensitive skin and things like this, that probably sounds really weird, but there's a, there's a varying degree of irritation. And this is not that bad. It's literally like 0.2 uh, compared to like a hundred, which is sheep's wool that makes me want to Okay, well that got really graphic, so I'm gonna cut that out. But anyway, this one is really nice. It's very soft, even though it is that tiny bit itchy on me. And it makes me happy. It reminds me of the color of my mum's eyes. <laughs> I think that's what it is. I think the coloring reminds me of my mum's eyes and then the pattern and style, mum has a jumper similar, like a knitted something. Maybe it's a beanie. I don't know. Anyway, let's move on because that's really not relevant to the entire world. So we are now in full oversized sweater territory. This one is the Anya oversized sweater in white. This is pretty much exactly what I picture when somebody says knitted sweater or knitted jumper. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? This pattern, like this is this is the knitted jumper, right? Anyway, this is really nice. It is 100% polyester, so there is absolutely no itching at all to this one. It's really heavy, which is very nice, especially in winter. It's nice. It just feels really dense and warm. It sits really cute if you kind of like tuck it up like that, but then it's also still really nice when it's just out loose and kind of slouchy and comfortable. 
that way. This I am also imagining with a little black skirt, which is probably more of the vibe of the memories that I'm having. <laughs> but I am an old person now, so I am just stuck in my ways and I think the things that I used to wear when I was a teeny tiny little baby 18 year old are adorable. So <laughs> this kind of really thick chunky sweater with like a little skater skirt and stockings and boots, yeah. Adorable. I am really happy with this. We have done very well this haul. This one again is large slash extra large, which the last one was as well. I don't know if I said that, but they all are. Everything is large slash extra large, but this has got a bit of extra room in here. It's very comfortable. It's just really nice, thick quality jumper, which is great in winter because we need thick layers. <laughs> This, you would definitely need to have something under this though, because at the end of the day, it is a knit. It has holes in it, because it is knitted. Common sense? Yep. So this is just beautiful. It's a really classic kind of piece, I think as well. You can style this into so many different like kind of genres of fashion. So it is really kind of just a, a staple piece to have in your wardrobe. So far, four out of five, we are doing really well. Let's pop this last one on. This one is the dress, so I will change out of the jeans. This is the Harmony Knit Mini Dress in beige. This one is very, very soft. Feels really nice. There is absolutely no itchiness at all to it. It's got quite a cute little pattern on the sleeves and like here, a little detailing, which is adorable. We pass the sleeve test everything today has passed the sleeve test, which is great. That is a 10 out of 10. Love that for me and my wrists. <laughs> this one, I think you, so you can't, so I go like right back here. <laughs> you can't see where it ends, but I did take some little, a little bit of footage in the mirror. This one I think is a really good kind of base piece to build an outfit off of. I think it is a, just a little bit plain, by itself. I generally find the best way to kind of get ideas for how you want to style something is to look at how they've styled it on the website because that is generally what makes it look good enough for you to have wanted to buy it in the first place. So the way they had it on the website was with some nice like knee-high boots, a big necklace, bag, things like that. I think this would be really good for layering. It is really really soft which is very nice. This one is a combination of cotton and acrylic I think. I will double check if I'm wrong I will replace this sentence. Nope, I was right. I was wrong, however, about the sizing. So everything else, all of these four, were a large, extra large. This one is a 16. So terribly sorry for lying to you guys. But anyway, this is really soft, really comfortable. I think it will be a good kind of base piece to start with. The sleeves are oversized, as you can see. But again, it's not too much. The Even though the material is heavy and kind of like more intense than these two. It's not too much. There's not too much material around my arms or anything that's going to annoy me and I feel like it doesn't do the weird shoulder thing that some sleeves do that I already mentioned. So I think this one is a winner. It is a great base. It's very simple so you can easily kind of style it up, make it really fancy and special or you can make it really casual and comfy as well because there's not too much going on other than the nice little like details on the side. So we're five for five people. This is a good haul. Anywho, that is it from me today. Thank you so much for watching. If you've made it this far, don't forget to check the description box for all of the links to everything that I wore today, as well as my uh, crop top and jeans underneath. All from Princess Polly. <laughs> Don't know what I just did with my hair there. There is that discount code that you guys can use as well if you want to save yourself 20%. Thank you so much if you do use my codes. I appreciate it. It is not an affiliate link or anything like that. It just does show Princess Polly that you guys have come from my video if you use that code, which is really lovely for me. It's a nice way to support me if you want to. There is obviously no pressure to go and spend your money if you do not need to. There are other ways to support YouTubers, which is viewing, liking, commenting. So you are more than welcome to just show your support through watching and liking and commenting, which is my favorite way to talk to you guys. So leave a comment and I'll have a chat to you down in the comments. <laughs> I was gonna call it a description box. That's not where the comments go. It's been a long day. I am going to leave it there. Thank you so much if you made it this far and listened to all of my rambling stories. I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.